Jesse here with GPS City. I have the Zumo 220. This is a motorcycle GPS with Bluetooth to communicate with Bluetooth intercom systems. This is also useful for in your car and I'm going to show you what comes inside the box and give you a little walk around the accessories. So we're just going to put the box off to the side. First thing that we find in the box is the unit. The unit looks very similar to the Nuvi 550 but the difference is this has Bluetooth. Just taking a look around the unit, at the top here, you're going to find the power button. You just hold that in for a couple seconds to turn the unit on. If you look on the side here, there's a little switch. This switch is actually to open the battery cover here. So what you do is you slide it, and the battery cover is going to pop up. And then the battery goes inside here. We have the slot here for the memory card, the contacts for the battery, and then the serial number for registering the unit. Under this little rubber flap right here, we have a USB connection. It's a mini B USB. It's for powering the unit and also for data transfer. Because keep in mind, you get a free map update within 60 days of purchasing this unit from GPS City. So we'll put this off to the side. We're going to look at the vehicle mounting options now. So we're going to have this cradle here, which clips onto the unit, and then a suction cup. These go together very simply, they just go like so. You do need to use a little bit of force, it may not go um, the first time. The unit clips in, bottom first, now it's in, and it's not going to fall out of that cradle until you unhook it. And then the suction cup could go to the windshield. So you'll then be able to view your unit while driving and there is a speaker on the back of the unit for in-vehicle voice navigation. When you're on the bike you're going to be using the Bluetooth. There is no wired audio out on this unit unfortunately. One other item for mounting in the vehicle is this dash disc. It's got a sticky back, you peel this off and you put this to your dash then you can suction cup to your dash. Just take the lever, push it down to lock it. I actually use this in my vehicle and it works well. Don't put this on the windshield though. I see that when I drive around the city every once in a while. And in the vehicle, you're going to need to power the unit. So Garmin does include a power cable with the USB end and a cigarette lighter end. Now moving on to the bike accessories. Garmin has the holder. This could be mounted on your scooter also. There's some hardware in there to do that. It's got this lever at the top that flips up. That's to get the unit in and out and to lock it down. So we'll just do that really quickly. Bottom first, top, push that lever down and now it's in place. There's four holes on, or three holes on the back here, but a four hole pattern. You're only going to use these three to mount it to the RAM ball. And the RAM ball that you would use is a RAM B347. And as you can see, it fits nicely on that hole pattern. Garmin includes a arm and then a handlebar mount. The handlebar mounts could either attached to the handlebar using a U-bolt. It would just wrap around the handlebar and then you'd use this U-bolt here to grab on. Or if you have a compatible bike, Garmin does include these longer bolts here. You could actually take the bolts out of your clutch or brake assembly, line that up and put these bolts in as replacements for the ones you took out and it's going to be very accessible. And then the RAM parts go together very easily. Just loosen up the arm. And then when it's on the bike, just tighten it up. So you're going to have quite a bit of options because this is a double ball system to face it whichever way you like. On the bike, you're going to need power, of course. This is the power wire for the bike. It's got the USB end here. 
It's got this box right here. This converts the 12 volts or 30 volts, it'll do 12 to 30, down to 5 volts, which the GPS needs. There is a fuse in line. Do not cut this fuse out unless you're going to replace it with another fuse. And then we got red and black wires, black for your ground and red for your 12 to 30 volts. One thing I forgot was the battery. We have the battery here. It goes into the back of the unit. And we have City Navigator North America software. Uh, this is so you could pre-plan trips on the computer and then send them over to the device. And then, of course, there's going to be some documentation in the box. If you want to learn more about the features of this unit, visit GPS City.